Hey, what's up everyone, I'm Jason, and today I'm hanging out around Mount Fuji in a place called Hukone, which is about southeast of the actual mountain. This place is known to be a resort area for travelers, but if you're watching my videos, then you know it's for all car enthusiasts. Driving the Toge roads around Mount Fuji is like the ultimate JDM dream. I made this video to help you make it happen. This is fun to drive in Hakone. It's a rental car business, but not just any rental car business. They let you rent out Initial D inspired cars to drive through the mountain roads. Again, this isn't like any other rental car business. It's more of a guided tour in a specific car that you want to drive. You can't go off route alone and you'll always be driving in a caravan. Fun to drive gives you the experience of driving these cars and enjoying beautiful mountain roads. The group leaders will take you around some areas to enjoy scenic views around Mount Fuji. I've been getting this question a lot and I want to put it out there for our young viewers. Fun to drive will let you drive these cars as long as you're 18 years old and you have an international driver's license. If you're wondering about how to get an international driver's license, watch my other video here. Alright, now let's talk about how to get this all set up for yourself. Depending on how long you'd like to drive, these guided tours can give you a short experience or a long experience. Short meaning 1-2 to two hour drives, and long drives are about 4-5 to five hours. The drives will dictate which routes you'll take. There are 5 different routes. The Ultimate Hakone, Core Hakone, Holy Mount Fuji, Swift Hakone, and Flash Hakone. All these routes will dictate how fast your tour guides will push you. Of course, for the longer drives, they promote a more spirited style of driving. With that said, safety is the priority and nothing illegal will be tolerated. I booked the Flash Hakone drive for one hour and it was a short cruise. I had fun and the views are great. It gave me enough time to experience the Porsche 964 Turbo that I've always wanted to drive. I get to drive a 964 and this is the turbo so got some backfire going on there we adjust the uh, mirrors and we are good to go fun to drive offers unique cars a few that caught my eye when i was booking was of course the porsche 964 turbo with the midnight wangan body kit the devil z inspired 240z with the rv25 swap yep i always wanted one of those and of course, all the main JDM Legend cars like the NSX, RX-7, Supra, and GTRs. That's pretty much everything you would see in my YouTube channel. And that's why I would highly recommend you to subscribe so you can see more. If you'd like to book an experience at fun to drive you can do it online. I suggest to plan everything out months in advance. They have a lot of cars, but it also gets it reserved really quickly. If there's a specific car that you want to drive, stay on top of booking for it. When you initially book online, they'll charge you a small deposit fee, which is 1,000 yen, or about 7 US dollars. This is just so that you can reserve the car and the route experience. The website will ask you to upload an international driver's license, but they'll also ask to see it in person. The location of Fun to Drive is on a mountain road. You can get here a few different ways. Taxi service or public transport is what my fellow group members did. I had a rental car, so I just drove here, and there's a small parking lot behind the store. It was only a few dollars to park here. There are a few specific rules Fun to Drive has and everyone must abide by them. Rule number one, all the drivers have to be safe during the experience. We're driving on public road and it's not a racetrack, so don't forget that. Rule number two, no recording video while driving. They are very strict about this. They have their own cameras installed in the cars for insurance purposes, but they don't want you to record while you're driving. You can bring your camera equipment and record the cars and views while you're not driving. With that said, just enjoy the experience and focus on driving. As a YouTuber, I was kind of disappointed in this rule, but I understand and respect it. So that's why my videos of this place are all in the parking lot. And the driving experience that I got from this place will always be in my heart. We're here at the Hokone Style Line. We're just stopped over. We have two lead cars um, for guides, this one and the other Subaru in the rear, but so far it's going good. We got these walkie-talkies to talk to each other to make sure we know where things are at, 
um, which corners are you know coming up. So we got the RX7 FD, Turbo 964, Skyline R34 behind me, and the NSX. My New Zealand friends. Also, make sure you bring cash in hand. This will be for all the toll roads, fuel, and your snacks. That's pretty much everything you need to know about fun to drive. If there's a specific video that you'd like me to do, please comment below. I enjoy making these videos, and if it helped you out, hit that like button. For anyone who stuck around this far, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. Make sure to subscribe and be on the lookout for the next Japan video.